Hey everyone, today is Saturday, the 15th of September. Uh, yesterday, I did uh, play with that Carfi Battle Carrier. Uh, went ahead and equipped it with plasma weapons. Um, the mines have a... I want to say a 12 second shared cooldown. And uh, therefore, I'm putting out a lot more mines than I thought I did, but not nearly as fast as I thought I would, you know what I mean? Um, they are significantly different from torpedoes. That said, the carrier maneuvers round about the same as my, uh, my assault cruiser, which is pleasing. However, I'm still going to stick with the turrets and mines, mainly because my pure, my real damage output is coming from my fighters, uh, frigates. Uh, I can have eight of these frigates out at the same time. They're using chronotons and uh, tricobalt mines, and they have anti-proton weaponry, so it's it's exceptionally awesome. I remember going up against a, um, uh, what was it? I went up against a Dideridex battleship. It's a Romulan vessel, the big Romulan warbirds from the next generation. And um, <clears throat> the uh, I didn't get hit by Viral Matrix, one of the powers that that ship uses on me very frequently when I'm playing my main character. And I recognized why. Because I had four little buddies who were doing more damage than me. So it was a lot of fun learning how to play this ship. I'm looking forward to using it more. Uh, today, that is part of my intention, although I do have my D&D game tonight, which I'm going to be getting ready for soon. Um, so yeah, I really need to build up Dilithium on that character, though. Um, he needs around 60,500 dilithium to improve his frigates from the standard stock models to the advanced versions. Um, it's 30,250 per. So, uh, I gotta get cracking on that one. Shouldn't take me more than, well, let's see, at 8,000 uh, dilithium a day. If I do it straight up, it should take me around 8 days. Math. I can do it occasionally. So, anyways... Uh, really, that's it for today. Um, I'm thirsty. Until next time. Kapla!